Hello kids, Steve coming right back at you for Sunday shoutouts. I would also like to show you a couple of the cards I got with Origami Folder while we went to a card store on Christmas Eve. First, I did get my Mickey Mantle checklist. It is very clean, neither the front or the back is marked at all. Corners are sharp, it is off center, but you know what? It's a mantle. First shout out, ABCs, need one, two, three. Very good, very, very fun program or show, as you might say. Does a lot of live streams with giveaways, auctions, and sales. I like him a lot. Next up in the dollar bin, the Alonzo Morning Upper Deck McDonald's Rookie Card. For a dollar, how can you not have a Hall of Famer? That's awesome. Over here, we have Jay Thompson. Loves his cubbies. Jordy Nelson, Sterling Sharp. He's all over the board like I am. Doesn't live in any one of those states. Really good in all the chats. Very funny guy. Always with the jokes. Love you, Jay. How about this? For a dollar, I got a Casey Mize Seawolves card. Nice minor league card of his. Very clean. Very cool. Next up here, we have Tops. Just Tops. Yes, I subscribed to the company. They've subscribed back. And you know who they are and what they do. Now, in the dollar bin, old school Wilt Chamberlain Green Prism. Prism, kids. Let's focus right there for a buck. I'll take it. You know I would. I love this kind of thing. So we will come on here now to Everyday Copportunity. Maybe your thing. May not be your thing. But you know what? He does deal in coins. And he's incredibly knowledgeable about that stuff. If I were you, I'd give them a look if you're interested in stuff like that. I know I am. Coming up here, I did buy a $4 grab bag. Actually, I bought a couple more. On the back, they have this, but on the front is one banger card. Got Shohei on that one, Wanda Franco on this one. Again, these were $4 each. You're guaranteed an auto or a relic. So let me show you what I got out of one of them first was a bobby dolbeck rookie card just the plane it's not the prism but it is from prism which i thought was cool the top card the reason i bought it I love ken griffey jr i love numbered cards yeah numbered griffey jr love hall of famers on the top of one of those can't say no to that for four bucks now, on the inside, it was a patch of Jason Veritek for the Red Sox, which is not bad at all either. But then something else I did get. This cost me $4 on its own. It's from 2014 Goodwin Champions Upper Deck. It's hand autographed and hand numbered. First, it's from... The Monsters series, you know, Frankenstein, Invisible Man, The Mummy, Creature from Black Lagoon. But the artist, he signed it and hand-numbered it 24 of 25. Origami Folder saw that and goes, Steve, you like the oddball stuff. This guy draws stuff. And there it is, zombies. And there's, wow, cool, cool, cool. Next up, Rich Atwood. <coughs> Fairly newbie, but you know what? He's coming along nicely. Give him some love. Shout him out. F.J. DeKing. Or, I'm sorry, DeKang. Again, another newbie. He's around. He's always looking for friendly people. And good, good places to talk. Finally, it's Vegas Dave TV. You know who that is. I subscribed to him, gave him a chance. 
I mean, he's got more money than he knows what to do with, so he does stupid old things that we'll never afford, but, <coughs> excuse me, still very knowledgeable. So, in summation here, we have ABC's need one, two, three. We have J. Thompson, Tops, Everyday Copportunity, Rich Atwood, uh, F.J. DeKing, <coughs> excuse me, and it's Vegas Dave TV. <coughs> so sorry. Still a bit under the weather. Time to take my medicine. Time to wish you all a very Merry Christmas yesterday. Happy Football Day today, or my Canadian fellows, Boxing Day. Just remember, be excellent to each other always. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And above all else, kids, remember, peace.